Joe White with Made in the Stockade here in Schenectady, New York. And I'm a woodworker. I've been a woodworker for about eight or ten years now. And uh, I make lots of different stuff. Okay, I make cutting boards, I make birdhouses, um, cutting boards of all shapes and sizes. I make little decorative wine bottles. So I'm quite diversified in what I like to do. Today I'm going to be making a uh, 3D cutting board. And if you, in starting out, this is what we start out with as a regular cutting board. And I would be gluing these pieces together. And in order to save time, so this is not a 40 to 50 minute video, I've already got it prepared. Okay, I've already glued it up. And there's several different glue ups that I do. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this out. Now these clamps here are to keep it level. So when you're clamping the wood together, it doesn't bind up on you. Okay, so that's what these side clamps are for. So I've taken a regular cutting board that I made, and <clears throat> normally I could round this off, put grooves in it, make it look real nice. And, but uh, in order to make it a 3D cutting board, I have to cut a 20 degree angle off of this side and then cut strips. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So the next step is to cut this at a 20 degree angle. And this is pretty tough to do on a, chop, uh, on a table saw. I normally do it on the chop saw. However, uh, this is too wide to do. On a, on a chop saw, I have to cut some off, and sometimes that doesn't go good. So what I'm going to use is my cross-cut sled. But first, I want to take this out and put in a homemade zero clearance fence, so I don't, so I get less dust. So this is the way the dust will go down and get blown out with my exhaust piece there. I've got to set up my cross-cut sled, which looks like this. And, and what I did was I took that cutoff piece with a, the 20 degree angle on it and I screwed it down to my cross-cut sled. I actually thought this was pretty clever. Take this, line this up, Make sure that this is you want to get the teeth of the blade just above where you're going to be cutting. It comes out with a nice, better cut. And this way, if you're going to cut off your fingers, you only cut off a little bit of your finger, not the whole thing. Now I'm going to take this away, put this end right here, down here, and I want one and a half inches. And I have a little setup block here, so I know what one and a half inches is. This will keep my fence nice and parallel here also, just in case it's not. So after I get done making the uh, uh, cuts on the cross cut sled, I, I end up with 10 
parallelograms um, or um, rhombuses. I, I wasn't a math major, I'm sorry. Anyway, so the whole key to this thing, in order to make it look like a 3D cutting board, is to turn every other one over like this. Of course, I should sand it down a little bit. I can do that later. Turn every other one over. And as you can see, it's taken on the shape of a 3D. Oops, cutting board. So in order to save time, and a little trick I picked up from Julia Childs, <laughs> I've got one in the oven ready to go. <laughs> so now we're going to take this. I, I'm not showing you the glue, I'm not showing you the sanding, because that takes a long time. Okay, so the next step is to uh, cut this off, cut the ends off. So after I cut off the ends, now this is called making it pop. This is the food safe mineral oil, and this will bring it to life. This is always the fun part. And then, after I'm done with that, I'm going to cut this off, this piece off here, and add some ends to it, and frame it. So it'll come out looking like this. Thank you very much. I'm Joe White from Made in the Stockade.